Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and this is the Vantage Point AI Market Outlook for the week of August the 29th, 2022. Now again, to get started this week, we'll, we will begin with the very important US dollar index that is driving uh, the main currency pairs, the equity markets, commodities, pretty much everything is revolving right now around the direction of the US dollar. We've come through Jackson Hole, uh, the Fed reaffirming uh, that businesses are going to experience and homeowners are going to experience some pain. Uh, and it, it appears he is not backing off on the rate hike. So the dollar immediately recovering. But let's look at uh, a slightly different trade setup because again, the, the, the reason for these videos is to provide Vantage Point users with alternative strategies. Not always black and white, a little bit outside of the box, but different and you can assess them. If you like them, you can use them. If not, then uh, again, that's totally up to you. But what we're doing this week is, in the indicator list here, I've once again customized it. I've got the triple EMA cross and I've simply removed the T cross short and medium so we can focus on the T cross long solely. This is a trend defining predicted moving average above it long below it short. However, the further we move away from this predicted blue line, the more likely it is we're going to retrace to it. Now, on Friday, that is exactly what has happened. The dollar experienced profit taking on Thursday. Jackson Hole came out, the Fed spoke. We had an MA diff cross that took us down to back down, and we stopped exactly on the T cross long. That level for WEC for next week is 107.41. Uh, I will also remind, because I do get emails, uh, sign up for the YouTube notifications. This video presentation is being done on Sunday morning at 1024. All of these outlooks are actually outlooks. They're done before, not after the market is opened or at the end of the week. They're, they're a we're looking at what we're going to do coming up for the week, identifying critical levels, trade setups, etc. This is then transitioned into the Vantage Point Live training room, and then we also do seminars. So, again, looking closer at this on the dollar index, we can see we've had a full retracement. The MA diff cross tells us the medium term trend is weakening against the longer term trend. We have a verified resistance high that I have uh, mentioned many times over the last uh, several weeks, and that comes in at 109.29. Uh, I would argue that from a seasonality standpoint, the dollar is very strong in the month of September regardless of the Fed. So uh, I would say that 109.29 in the month of September is likely going to be uh, breached, but it will definitely be challenged at the very least, potentially, as early as next week. Now we have the payroll number. The Fed's already also warned about that, that we're going to have uh, probably slower labor markets. So it puts less importance on the actual non-farm payroll next week because he's kind of already saying, I'm expecting it to be softer. That was interesting uh, in, the, in the in the Fed statement. So, but at, at any rate, right now we've got our, our neural index strength is crossing back over the zero line. We've had a full retracement down to the T cross long. And again, as you can see, there is no Fibonacci waves. There's nothing down here, guys. The, there's simply the predicted moving average. And that level is held, which tells me we're looking at further dollar gains. Now, when we apply this to the correlated markets and we look at gold, and now the one quick note that uh, that I will go back on, I just missed that, sorry, so I can set a, uh, a foundation or an anchor point for this presentation, is this, this line down here is the monthly opening price. And the monthly opening price, my view, and in my respectful opinion, again, only, we are trading month to month. Uh, I'm not looking at three months out or four months out. This is a weekly presentation. And in my direct uh, trading, I look at things from a month to month perspective, applying critical levels, seasonal patterns, seasonal percentages, all these different things. So right now, the monthly opening price or our point in time price on open 105.87. The dollar has had a very good month. You can see we've been holding above this, but the in this presentation, what I'm going to show you is again, if we're holding above the monthly opening price, the predicted moving average is above the monthly opening price. The market crosses over, closes above that predicted moving average two days in a row, fire at will. This setup is very seldomly wrong. And uh, again, 
Nothing is 100%, but when you know your levels and you have anchor points, so I have two anchor points actually here. I've got the T-cross long and the monthly opening price. Once it crossed over and uh, a seasonal pattern, which tells me that the dollar is not super strong in the month of August, but it is still strong. But September, it, in part of October, it shines. <laughs> so again, uh, this is trade setup has warned me that we're going to head higher. We get up to a top near a verified zone, and then we start to slip back down. But this move is corrective in nature. So again, for the for next week, that's what we'll be looking at. So if we apply the exact same trade up. Uh, trade setup, excuse me, with the same methodology, with the same indicators in a different market, we should come up with something very similar. So gold started at the beginning of the month where the dollar was struggling a bit and it moved higher. But again, when you can see we cross over the T cross long and at the same time we cross over the monthly opening price, we close below them both two days in a row and down we go. We had a full retracement back to that exact same level and down it went again. So for next week, uh, we're looking at most of our resistance is going to be at the open price of 1766 and the T cross long at 1759. This would be your sell point. The indicators are very mixed, but it's still pointing for further losses in gold. Now, again, we keep moving in this particular direction. We go to, to light sweet crude oil. We have our anchor point of our monthly open. With oil, it was very different this month. We crossed over, uh, immediately crossed over the T cross long. We're below the monthly opening price, and it led to a significant sell off. We've had a retracement back to the T cross long, and we come back down again. So now we've crossed over the T cross long, but we're still below the monthly opening price. It is still bearish on the month we can't say something is bullish guys if it, if it opened at this price over here and we're currently at this price then it's not bullish it's actually bearish so again we would have to maintain and stay above the t cross long at 92.16 if we have any hope of moving higher here but again i think that oil has been extremely manipulated over the last seven months along with natural gas but again the the neural index strength is pointing down we identify our price on open at 97.90 that's so in order for this to turn bullish we would have to clear that we, we but I would further argue that the predicted moving average is also below the monthly opening price, which tells me that oil is going to struggle here, especially if we have that pending US dollar strength. Now, Bitcoin moving lower at, at the time of this video, which is perfectly normal. But again, uh, we're looking for mid to late September to follow those seasonal patterns where there's buying in Bitcoin. That's when I would look for potentially the equity markets to turn around a little bit. But for now, as you can see, this is the month of August. We go back here to August the 1st. And even though we've had some very good rallies in Bitcoin, we're still basically in a channel low between, um, well, maybe I would argue a little bit lower around the yeah, 17,006. It's moved up a little bit here, guys, to about 18,680. That's the level that I imagine we're going to test before we go higher. But we are still, or I'm still looking for Bitcoin to play the seasonal pattern where it's very strong uh, mid to late September through to mid to late October, maybe early November, and then I'm not interested in it again. But for now, the indicators are definitely bearish. We're below the monthly opening price. We're below the T-cross long. Our two key levels that we want to watch are right there, guys. 22,470, uh, tw excuse me, 22,047, and the price on open at 23,803. Bitcoin remains bearish while below those two levels. That's the, the, the two anchor points that I'll use throughout the rest of this presentation and do a quick review of the month of August as we come to an end. Uh, I'm happy, by the way, to end summer trading. Uh, I'm not a fan of the month of August to begin with. Uh, it's been a choppy August, but September is October, November, December are very, very good trading months. So when we look at the, the one that everybody has their eyes on, which is, of course, is the S&P 500, it simply was unable to make any significant gains. Uh, once again, it, it's a tall order with this dollar strength. So when I'm looking at this, 
right now where we do a quick review of the S&P 500. We look at the start of the month here. We had some bullish momentum that was building. We were holding above the monthly opening price. The the the, the T cross long moved above, also moved above the monthly opening price. But now you can see we've slipped down below the 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 T cross long, and we've closed the week below the 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 monthly opening price. My only concern is that equities tend to rally into the end of the month. So be careful around Wednesday. I could see this thing turning around be just for, you know, uh, fund managers. They're wanting to show uh, as best the best monthly percentage they can for their capsules, et cetera. Uh, so we could see a relief rally there towards midweek. Uh, but right now, uh, the two key levels we watch for next week, 41.58 and 41.12. These are our two main points that we would have to clear in order to start buying stocks again. Uh, but again, if we know these levels ahead of time, then we know how to react to them. Uh, some people, uh, some of the direct clients of mine, they will put uh, limit orders above, sit there and wait because they only want to go long, but they're not willing to buy in a, in a down market. So when it clears the VP level at 41.58, they've got long sitting there ready to go and they avoid Whatever is going to happen on the downside, it could get ugly next week after Jackson Hole. So we, we shall see. But that is the main trade setup. Now, when we look at Euro US and we look at it for the month, we can really get a good visual of what kind of month the Euro actually had here. And, and again, some buying in the early part of the month. And there is basically, I'm going to call this one the media bar, where the media started twisting the words of the Fed. And he responded back. And I could tell Jay Powell was a little angry in, when he came to the podium there on Friday. And I don't blame him because the media did twist his words, uh, saying they're going to cut, they're going to do this, uh, they're going to do that. And he's saying, I didn't say any of that. Uh, data dependent. Uh, we are still on, on track to hike is what he's saying. So as you can see, the euro immediately after that, that, uh, that conference or the press release, the, the euro started dropping again. So when we look at this for now, you can see it again, the, the anchor points that I will use and provide for you guys can gauge it yourself if you want to have a trade setup like this is the predicted moving average crosses over the actual monthly opening price that leads uh and again it's very difficult to script it because you can see the the, the levels happening in there i've removed all the other moving averages for this week just so we can focus on the one i won't do this every week but i but i will do it just the same so again on friday uh like a moth to a flame the market moves back to the t cross long and then an epic failure. So again, there there is no uh, Fibonacci. There there's no other indicator around this particular level, and that level is 1.0090, uh, just above the parity mark. And the second they got confirmation, we had a problem. But you can see that the MA diff cross here warns us not to actually keep selling it down here. When that cross, it's telling me that the the pink line is the medium term trend. The blue line is the long-term trend. That's why the predicted moving average crossovers are not on my screen. I can see them via the predicted differences. So when it crossed up, it, tell me, it tells me, okay, I'm not going to buy down here. I'm going to let it retrace and get back up to this level. So to begin the week, this is the level we want to keep our eye on. The main indicators are still net bearish. When we look at the U.S. Swiss franc, again, a dollar index trade, uh, but the Swiss franc is still indirectly part of the carry trade like the yen. But as you can see, when the market came up, that retraced back up to the monthly opening price, the vantage point predicted moving average was sitting right there. We closed above the monthly opening price and the T-cross long. That's what triggers longs here. There is zero lag in this particular setup, guys. Zero. Nothing. I'm not waiting for a crossover. I'm not waiting for this. I'm not waiting for that. All I need is the condition to be met that I'm, I'm now positive on the month. Okay? I'm positive on the month. I'm above the T-cross long, which is a trend-defining indicator that could be anywhere from 10 to 30 to 60 days while it's above this level, it could be even longer on some of your stocks. But the fact that it remains that it, once it clears it, it retraces back to it 
and then gives me an entry point. Uh, if the predicted high and predicted low are, are not there, that's not of any interest to me. Uh, the, this primary setup is telling me this is shifting. This trend or this push to the downside is shifting to the upside. That sends it higher. We break the verified resistance zone. So to begin the week, we have two main anchor points, our, our monthly open, 95.22, our T-cross long, 95.88, long while above these two levels. If it breaks down below there, you can actually have, a, again, a sell stop below the monthly opening price. If it breaks down, then you can cut your longs and go short, but you have an actual trade setup and a trade plan. Now, with the pound dollar, uh, another very strong example of this type of trade setup here, when we look at this on August the 1st, you can see we're running along the monthly opening price. This can be, this is a point in time indicator in the Vantage Point software uh, that is extremely powerful when used with the predictive indicators. So you can see that I'm running along here. There's our media bar that threw the Fed that really ticked off Jay Powell. Then you can see that they're, they're turning, they're getting ready to exit dollar longs or dollar shorts, excuse me. And then next thing you know, we slip down and we've closed below the monthly opening price, but not quite the T-cross long. But then we start to accelerate. I can assure you that up to a degree of about 85 to 90%, these same types of setups will form in September. Now that could be, uh, I think it's very unlikely it's gonna be long on the pound uh, given the strength of the dollar, but it could be either way, we don't care as long as we have a, a plan. So at on September the 1st, we will have a new monthly opening. So when I do the weekly outlook next week, I will be using that leveraging that monthly opening price with the VP key or the core vantage point indicators. So right now our resistance for the week is the T cross long 119.45 and our monthly opening 120. 65. Very often, like a moth to a flame, the market tends to retrace back to the monthly opening price at the or can at the end of the month. So these are our two levels, but this also will assist traders in proper stop loss play, uh, placement. Excuse me. So again, watch those two levels, and I could argue that your your premium sell zone is between 119.45 and 121.65. So we're looking for a Monday Tuesday type of reversal. I think if it sees any uh, strength, it could possibly be on Monday. And then on Tuesday or Wednesday, the real trend shows itself again. Uh, we do have strong verified support down here at 117.17. But as you remember from the previous weeks, we've also broke major support at 117.60. So this setup is still bearish. Uh, the neural index strength is down, the reverse check mark there pointing back down on the predicted RSI, the predicted differences, the neural indexes, uh, that looks like a stoplight right there, uh, horizontal stoplight, uh, yellow, green, red. Uh, so it's ended in red, which tells us, okay, if we, we just need to know those retracement points. And of course you can use the predicted high and predicted low. I'm not suggesting you can't, but I will suggest that uh, that is a significant gap between the predicted high for the day the T cross long and the monthly opening price. That is too big of a gap for me to short down here. I want this to retrace, okay? Now, when we look at the dollar yen, uh, the dollar yen is truly on a month to month basis. This thing is basically all over the map here. Uh, it, it truly is. And this is something I see all the time with the dollar yen pair when we're dealing with potential rate hikes because the yen is part of the carry trade. So essentially, uh, even if the dollar is weak, it's probably strong against this pair because of the interest rate differential between Japan and the US, it heavily favors the US. Uh, so meaning somebody enters a long position, uh, the brokers have to pay them a dividend or swap payment every day. They have to pay that times three on Wednesday. So if big banks move a couple hundred million or a billion dollars into a long dollar yen trade, that, that swap payment and that interest payment is substantial. And that is by definition, guys, for anybody who doesn't know that, it's the carry trade. So right now, when we look at this, we look at this from the standpoint of what are our support levels to begin the week. Our T cross long 135.74, and the monthly opening price at 133.28. So again, uh, we would like to see the T cross long hold, and if it doesn't, then the backup is the monthly opening price. The indicators are mixed here. 
but they're still primarily bullish. And again, the seasonal pattern of the dollar in the month of September, it's almost as good as your February, March. It's the dollar usually shines uh, in the month of September. So just a warning. Uh, and I've seen this many, many times before. You could have a bad non-farm payroll number. You could have a bad this, bad that. Uh, that's all that that is all noise guys uh if there's real money is buying the dollar in september then they still will continue to do that so the dollar yen uh just be careful with this particular pair it's it's certainly not my favorite uh the us cad uh, a very very good uh trading week on this we were doing this in the vantage point live training room uh once again just a really quick uh, note on the monday tuesday reversal this pair, guys, is notorious for this. Whatever it does on Monday, it does the exact opposite on Tuesday, 90% of the time. So you can see we had a rally up on Monday. Then it gets hammered on Tuesday, leaving traders and investors scratching their head, only for the primary trend to turn around and go right back up. So again, we're above our monthly opening price. That's coming in at 128.15. That assists traders with stop loss. The T-cross long, 129.21 uh, and again we were doing this in the vantage point live training room i've advised with my own direct clients you're long well while above the monthly opening price and a very good entry point last week is around the 129.21 area so for next week uh we're going to be looking this at it this again but uh with the predicted moving average above the monthly opening price that usually tells me we're going higher Neural index strength is up, reverse checkmark predicted RSI at 64.8. It warns me that oil potentially could be getting ready for a spike lower. Same with the S&P 500 and the dollar index higher. Those direct intermarket correlations, guys, these are things you want to learn. There isn't that many of them. Just a, a, the main ones, the really big ones, dollar to equity, dollar to gold, dollar, dollar, dollar is what this comes down to. So again, we will watch these levels next week. The gap on the predicted low is not horrible. 129.50, the T-cross long again is coming in at about the 129.20 area. So that type of gap I can live with. And then all stops should be uh, based on your own money management plan, uh, hence the risk disclosure in the YouTube channel here. But always make sure that you know, you're know you not over leveraging and you're keeping that leverage in check. Because again, most currencies moving 1% of their value per day at max. That's it. Now, the other two main equity-based currencies, Aussie US and New Zealand US, we can assess here that once again, they had some bullish momentum at the beginning of the month. But soon as we move too far away on that media bar, again, the media caused this, the Fed caused this volatility, that it started, it moved too far from the predicted moving average and that mean revision theory kicks in and down it goes. But the real trade here, guys, this is this is the one right there. The, the, the market closes below the monthly opening price and the T-cross long at the exact same time. When that happened, that led to a substantial downside move. Now, again, you can see it happening up here again on Thursday and Friday last week. Now, the main indicators are again mixed, but they're again pointing down. So we've got a verified support low that I can warn you about. That's 68.70. If we get a sustained break of 68.70, then it's, it's reasonable to suggest in the month of September, we are likely going to target the low back into the 67.46 level. But we immediately need to de deal with this particular level. Uh, that's the one we need to watch. We've had a ret full retracement back up and a massive sell-off back down, which is likely to continue into next week. You will see the same thing with the Kiwi next week. It will follow the New Zealand, the same predominant move in the middle of the month, only to turn around. And the second the market closed below the T-cross long, and the monthly opening price, we got the confirmation we were actually looking for and down it went. And I would further argue that we can see things like this. The MA diff cross had warned us one day after that, but this is still higher risk because the stocks could have gone higher. The Fed could have flip-flopped, but ultimately he didn't. He held, he held the line and he plans on hiking. So once again, we are going to have a very choppy end of the month, and I'm sure that there's going to be lots of fireworks in the month of September, but with that brings opportunity. 
So with that said, this is the Vantage Point AI Market Outlook for the week of August the 29th, 2019.